up everybody it's Georgina welcome back to my youtube channel today I'm going to be doing a ultimate fall makeup tutorial and by that I mean I'm gonna try to make it a little bit more glam than I usually do because in my opinion my makeup looks are kind of natural most of the time but I'm gonna try to make it a little bit more glam for you guys and I'm just gonna be doing literally everything fall themed fall colors fall everything so really hope you enjoy this video and if you want to know how i slay my face today then keep keep on watching keep on watching <laughs> I'm going to be using foundation today I never use foundation anymore but I said that I'm gonna make it a little bit more glam so I'm using foundation so today I'm going to be using this one right here this is the benefit hello happy soft blur foundation I'm in the shade six and I really like this foundation because it's really lightweight um, and I'm just gonna do a couple of drops on my face and then I'm gonna take this stippling brush right here to blend it out I'm just gonna do a couple of drops i'm not really sure how much i need maybe this is enough let's see and blend i don't know if this is the right color for me because i bought this foundation when i was on holiday this summer so it might be a little bit too dark for me but i will try to match my neck with my face this foundation is really really light that's why i love it so much and it just gives me the perfect amount of coverage it just looks really nice on the skin. Next up, I'm going to be doing a little bit of cream contouring. You guys know this is my favorite step ever. I'm going to be using the Sosu by Suzanne Jackson, Sosu by SJ Contour Stick. This is in the shade Warm, and I'm just going to apply this on the places that you normally contour. This stick is really, really creamy, like the creamiest contour stick ever used in my life. Um, I think that's about enough and then i'm just gonna take the same brush and blend this out this is like this blends out really really easily as you guys can see it's already blended um so yeah i'm just gonna blend this in i'm also gonna apply a little bit on the bridge of my nose right here i don't know why i just love this look it kind of makes me look a little bit more sun-kissed um which i think that i definitely need now that my tan is fading which is really annoying. Also gonna pop on a little bit of cream blush. This one is from Colourpop. Looks really, really pretty. This is the blush sticks. Um, I'm not really sure what shade this is in, but it looks like this. It's a pretty dark blush actually, but I think it will still work. Just gonna do a little bit and then take my finger and just blend this as well. We're moving on to concealer. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This has been one of my favorite concealers lately. I really, really love it. The only downside is there is so much product on the wand, which is really annoying. Um, but the product is amazing, so I'm still going to use it. But I just wish it wasn't so messy. You know what I mean? I'm just going to... Do a little bit on my chin as well and hmm, think that's about it i have a pimple right here on my forehead i don't know if you guys can see but i'm also gonna be applying a little bit on there and then taking my sosu by sj beauty sponge which is my favorite beauty sponge ever it is way better way better than a beauty blender i really really think this is the best makeup sponge that i've ever used also i'm using it dry because this is just so bouncy still like when it's dry i don't even feel the need to wet my beauty blender anymore i mean wet my beauty sponge anymore because it's not a beauty blender but you know what i mean for setting powder today i'm going to be using the huda beauty setting powder in banana bread this is kind of like a baking powder i think but i really really like this and i'm just gonna take Mm, an old crusty dusty beauty blender and <laughs> set my under eyes with this and kind of bake a little bit not too much just around this i think 
And also just gonna set the rest of the places that I put the concealer, but not really bake, just pat it in. <laughs> I'm just quickly gonna apply some bronzer. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I haven't used this in a really, really long time, um, but I do remember that I really love it. So I'm just gonna use it again today on this brush right here. This is from BH Cosmetics and just put it on the places where i also put the cream contour i feel like the Too faced chocolate soleil is a little bit more cool toned and the cream contour stick that we used was a little bit more warm toned so i think it looks pretty together it's like a nice combination for highlighter i'm going to be using this palette right here this is the sam marcel luxurious highlight palette um, I'm going to pick up the color, hmm. I think I'm going to take creme right here in the middle. Um, I'm just going to pop this on my cheekbones and my nose and my forehead and chin and lip and everywhere. This is a really pretty highlighter. I love fine highlighters, they're just my favorite. For my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using one of my favorite palettes of all time. This is like in my top three favorite palettes because it is just perfect. This is the Beauty Bay Fiery Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Just look at these colors. These are the colors that, like these are the only colors that you need in your life in my opinion because they're just perfect. I'm just obsessed with this palette. So I'm gonna start off with the color Cinnamon Bun right here in the corner. Um, and I'm just gonna pop this into my crease. This is kind of gonna be the main transition color before we put all of the other colors on our eyes. And I'm gonna blend this up pretty high so it's gonna look nice and blended once we're done. Now I'm going in with a smaller blending brush like this and I'm going to pick up the color, hmm, which one should I do? Cherry Cola or this one? I think we'll go for a brown suede because I said I'm going to make it more glam, so I'm going to make it more glam. I'm just going to pick up a little bit, not too much because I don't want it to be like overly pigmented and overly dark you know what i mean just gonna apply this on the outer corners and in my outer v and also blend it up into the crease as well just gonna take more and build it up till it looks how i want it to look just did the same thing to the other eye and now i'm gonna pick up another color i'm gonna take the middle one which is called sunset I first wanted to use pumpkin spice, but I feel like it's a little bit too light. So I'm going to use sunset in the middle and just kind of apply this on to my lid and also on my crease. Basically the same thing that I did with the first color, but now right in the middle. Kind of going to try to blend this into the other shade that we just applied. So it looks nice, seamless, and blended, and there's no harsh lines. Okay, so now I'm switching over to a different palette because I wanted to use kind of like a yellow-orangey color. I'm going to be using the Certify Tropical Wonders eyeshadow palette. This is my go-to for colorful shadows because this is so freaking pigmented. I'm going to take the color Toucan right here in the middle, and I'm going to take it on this flat brush and I'm gonna put this down the beginning of our lid. That looks sick. Oh my God. I really love how this looks right now. Before we move on to the inner corner, I'm first quickly gonna do the lower lash line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the dark brown color and the red color and I'm gonna do the same exact thing on my lower lash line. I'm gonna use this brush right here, kind of like in the middle and more towards the inner corner. And then I'm gonna take the darker shade and 
put it in the outer corner. For my inner corner, I'm going to be using a glitter. This is the Kathleen Lights ColourPop Glitter. This is in the shade The Lion. Um, I don't want to get this everywhere, so I have to be careful. It kind of like blends in with the orange a little bit. Really love how this looks. I just quickly did my eyebrows off camera. If you guys are interested in my eyebrow routine, I have a fully detailed video on that, which I will leave in the description down below. So now I'm going to apply some fake eyelashes. I want to wear dramatic lashes, but I don't want them to cover up the eyeshadow look that we just did. So I'm going to use these. These are from BH Cosmetics. They're in the style N105. I've never used them before, so I'm excited to see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to pop these on and i'll be back lashes are on oh my freaking god i love these eyelashes so much because they're kind of the perfect in between of natural and glam because they still show the eyeshadow which i'm really really happy with so now we only have one thing left to do which is lips and i'm going to be using my mac cork lip liner as always i know that i use this in pretty much basically all of my tutorials but this really is the best lip liner ever and then on top i'm going to be using the kat von d liquid lipstick in lolita 2 i know that i've used this before in my tutorials i really was um thinking about doing a glossy lip as well but i don't know i just feel like doing matte today and i think this will match really really nice with the eyes kind of like with the middle shade so i'm just gonna do this one and we'll see how it looks i am obsessed with this makeup look if i could wear this every single day i would well i can but you know it's a lot of makeup but still oh my freaking god it looks so good i'm so happy with the outcome okay so Okay guys, this is going to be everything for the ultimate fall makeup tutorial. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And turn on the little post notification thingy, the bell. So you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.